You probably already know we're making Pokemon with guns. We call them Gunmon. But here's the kicker. They actually live right on your desktop. This is my first time using Godot. And I've discovered something super cool. The autoload feature. As a programmer, the singleton pattern has always been my go-to for creating managers like game manager, audio manager, or global signals. It's popular because it makes handling core game functionalities easy. And guess what? Godot has this built-in with autoload. And honestly, it feels way more convenient than Unity. If you're new to Godot like me and curious about how it works, here's a quick guide. Create a dedicated folder named Manager or anything that makes sense to you. Inside this folder, create a new script. Name it clearly to reflect this purpose. Now head over to the project menu, select project settings, select globals, and click on the auto load tab. Click the folder icon, find the script you just made, select it, and then hit the add button. And boom! Now you have a global manager accessible from anywhere in your game. Write functions in it and call them wherever you need. It might seem simple, but as someone new to Godot, discovering this felt pretty exciting. If you're as thrilled as I am, hey, don't forget to wishlist Tiny Gunman on Steam.